Hey Soul Family, today I'm going to be showing you some super easy photo editing tips in CapCut. First, we're starting off with this video. It is very yellow, as you can see. I recorded this in my basement with very poor lighting. So the first thing I want to do is go in and lighten that up. So I'll adjust the warmth if I can find it. Oh, nope, I'm lying just... <laughs> First, I'm going to adjust the stability. Um, so first I muted it and then I adjusted the stability because that's my new thing. I feel like it gives your videos a better quality um, without needing extra equipment. So here I am adjusting the temperature. And my favorite photo editing tip is just play around with the settings. Like just see what they do. Here I'm showing you I adjusted the temperature up and that was like way too yellow and then down and that was too blue. And then you just want to find the happy medium where it looks like what it looked like in person. And then another tip I love to give people is just play around with it. See what you like, what you don't like find your style. Do you like bright? Do you like dark and saturated? Um, it all is perfect personal preference. <laughs> um, so, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be what you like and how you want it to look. So here I'm trying to get the shadows just right. It's hard when you're adjusting shadows to not blow out the image. Um, same with like brightness. Like here you can see it really blows out the image. Um, the other way it makes it way too dark and too saturated and just unnatural looking. So you're just trying to find that happy medium. Um, brilliance can help with that. It can help you or hurt you, honestly. So just play around with it. Um, it really depends on your lighting. So here I'm just adjusting the highlights, trying to get those darker tones a little lighter so it doesn't look so shadowy. You can see in the background um, where the paint and my muller and that little container is. Um, you can see that lightening and darkening a little bit here. And then I always make sure to adjust the sharp Binning on my videos and pictures. I like things super sharp. Um, I feel like for product videos and photos, you want things kind of sharp. Um, so here I'm adjusting the colors. So when you make things lighter or darker, it can kind of take away from what the colors looked like in person and you like obviously for me I want my colors to show through true to form um, in videos which is very very hard to do so I adjust the colors in the video so that they look like how they would look like in person so you can get a better idea and then here just still trying to adjust those undertones and then I realized this is a little too fast. Like I want to slow this down a little bit. I feel like it gives it a better feel. So I go and put it on 0.5 and there we go. It gives it just that like chef's kiss. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, but I just love it. Like that's my new thing lately is just slowing everything down. Here I am screwing up my view. Sorry <laughs> And then I realized it's still like it's a little too far away. So I wanted to adjust that. So I kind of just zoomed in a little bit. I wanted to make sure certain things were still in frame um, just so your like your setting is aesthetically pleasing a little bit. Hopefully, kind of. <laughs> As you guys know, I am very much real and my desk is real. So the aesthetically pleasing is kind of like 50-50 here, but <laughs> it is what it is. So here, just again, adjusting the sharpening, sharpness <laughs> of my video. Um, love a good contrast. I feel like it makes the blacks just like so good and then of course gotta add the the audio you know and if y'all know me you know i am the queen of forgetting to trim audio like here i'm like oh i'm done cool nope not done you have to trim your audio to the length of your video don't forget hashtag katie don't forget <laughs> So here I am just putting the audio in the spot that I wanted to start and then scrolling back, grabbing that, pulling it back to the end of my video. So it's like, you know, normal. 
and then always check it. This is the time that I would add my logo down at the bottom, but I forgot. I'm not going to go back and do it now, so it is what it is. I always export in 2K slash 4K, um, 60 frames per second, and then save it or export. And then you'll see what we started with. So orange. And then what we ended with. Thanks for watching. Love you so much, guys. Bye.